Good afternoon, class. How's every, everyone doing? I'm doing great, ma. I'm doing fine then, po. That's great to hear. Okay, class. Today is May 19 and it's 2.45 p.m. on my clock. And I have the perfect number of attendees for this class. So last meeting, we discuss teaching from example, teaching grammar from example about adverbs of time. So now I will present you some text and I want you to read it silently for three minutes, okay? And after reading the text, I want you to list down all the adverbs of time that they, that they were mentioned. Is that clear? Yes, Paul, understood. Okay. So here is the, here are the some text. So, Ms. Perez, will you please read? Yesterday, Angela went to school. Next one. She played chess all day. Every day, she Earlier, Vincent went to my house. Thank you. So I'll give you three minutes to list down all the all the adverbs of time that you will see. Okay. Okay, class, are you done? Yes, Paul. So, yes, Paul. About, about the text. Okay, right. It's better. Um, I don't understand people because you are. Like, Sorry. Um, you are like so I can understand if you have said that. Uh, what I've said is, can you tell us what you observe or notice about the text you read? Uh, what ad what adverb of time of time what you notice? Um, I um in the sentence for if uh the sentence is used as a adverb of time if are uh, yesterday, our day, every day, and earlier for. Okay, so Miss Jade, is Miss Perez correct? Yes, ma'am. So, what are the adverbs of time that are being mentioned? The adverbs of time mentioned are yesterday, all day, every day, and earlier. Very good. Okay, so now that you know the adverb of time used, I want you to identify now what did, what they did and match them with the adverbs of time that were mentioned earlier. Understand? Yes, Paul. I will give you five minutes to, or three minutes to list, to list down your answer. So start now.
Are you done? Yes, Bob. Okay. So, Miss Ramos, kindly tell us your observation. Um, the actions that are matched with the uh, um adverbs of time for yesterday is went to school, all day for play just every day drinks milk, and earlier is the went went to my house. That's correct. So now that so. This time, we will construct sentence. Oh, no. Wait a minute. Okay. <clears throat> So this time we will construct sentences using adverb of time that we list down earlier. Then, and the pattern we will be using is subject plus verb plus adverb. So I'll give you three minutes to write or construct your sentence. Is that understood? Understood, Paul. Okay. Do it now. Time is up, so let's hear your answer, Miss. Let's hear your Let's hear your answer, per Miss Miss Perez. Um, so when we played all day, we went to my house yesterday. Very good. <coughs> so, Miss Ramos, is your answer is the same with Miss Perez's answer? Yes, Paul, my answers are the same. Okay, so what is your answer? Oh. Uh, um, Angelo went to school yesterday. Um, he played all day. Eunice often drinks milk, and Vincent went to my house yesterday. So great. Now what? Now, Miss. Ah, uh, now Miss Perez. What do you observe in every sentence? Mom, I have observed that the format of the subject is a so that's right. <coughs> in next, for example, in this, in this slide, the subject is Angelo, and the, and the verb is went, and the adverb of time is yesterday. Same with the other example. Do you understand? Yes, Paul. So, for now, so now that you fully understand our lesson, I want you to construct two sentences each. And don't forget the pattern of SBA, which is subject, verb, and adverb. Is that clear? Yes, Paul. Clear, Paul. I'll give, I'll give you five minutes to write it down.
And afterwards, I will call you each. So time is up. Are your class done? Yes, Paul. Yes. Um, okay, so let's start with you, Miss Ramos. Do you mind sharing your answer? Okay, Paul. Um, my first sentence is, I went to the cinema yesterday. So, Miss Perez, is Miss Ramos correct? Oh, my. So, how about you mind sharing your answer? Okay, Pam. Um, he arrived three hours later. Very good. Miss Ramos, again, for your last example. Roby played clarinet um, yesterday. Very good. And Miss Perez, last. Uh, went to church last Sunday. So you're both correct. And it seemed that we fully understand our lesson. And that's end our lesson for today. So do you have any questions, classific clarification? None for Okay. And if, if there's none, that's all for today. See you next week. Goodbye and thank you, class. Goodbye and, Goodbye and thank you. Thank you for...